So you want to make a better Minecraft 1 server. Better Minecraft, BMC1, whatever you want to call it, that's the server that you want to make. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to make a better Minecraft 1 server. But there are two ways to make this server. One is going to be using the server files here that you can find in the description down below, and that's the majority of this video. Another is using Simple Game Hosting. There's a lot of advantages to using a server host like Simple Game Hosting. First link down below, by the way, the breakdown today slash simple. And the number one is that it's a few clicks to set it up. The majority of this video has us downloading the server files and port forwarding and doing all of that. Whereas with Simple Game Hosting, you literally just get a server, click a few buttons, and it's set up. Now, I do want to note that Simple Game Hosting is our company, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this set up. First, just click Get Started here. Then you want to select your package. For a better Minecraft 1 server, 6 gigabytes is recommended. If you're going to have a lot of players over 5, 8 gigabytes is going to be your best option there. Click Get Started there, and then just go through the checkout process. It really doesn't matter what you enter in here. Just make sure that Minecraft Java is selected. You can select Vanilla. It doesn't matter anything like that. And then select the location that's closest to you, but the fastest one will be selected by default. Click continue there and then just go through the checkout process. Once you purchase your server, it will be created and you'll get this, an account created email. In here, click set up your account. That'll have you set up a password and you'll be able to access the game panel. From here, look how easy it is to get better Minecraft. Select your server and then you want to go to the file manager here and just delete everything. So select this and click delete. The reason we do that, it's just easier to do a fresh install better Minecraft, making sure you get the new world and all that stuff. You may also need to click stop here to stop your server before deleting all the files. And then from there, click on mod packs and just search BMC1. Now, both versions of Better Minecraft are here, and this will work for both versions, Forge or Fabric. We're going to be installing Fabric today because it is more popular, but either one of these will work. Click the versions, then select the newest versions. The one here at the bottom is currently the newest, so there you go. And then click Install. Click Yes, and now it'll install this mod pack. Once it's installed, look how easy this is. Go to console and then go ahead and start your server. Boom, Better Minecraft is on the server. All you've got to do to play it now is open up Better Minecraft with Curse Forge. Unfortunately, you've got to do this no matter what. Every single mod pack and mod specifically has to be installed locally and on the server. The server part's done, so go ahead, get Curse Forge. There's a link in the description down below to do that. Open up Better Minecraft. We can join the server just like any other. Your IP address is right here on the console tab of your server. Just click to copy it. And now we can go into Minecraft and pay it in. You can obviously add it as a server, so we'll do simple game hosting is the server and then paste it in, bam, and there it is. We can now double click to join it right like so. It's that easy to get your server up and running with simple game hosting and better Minecraft 1. The first time you join a server, it's going to take a second and here we are in game. You can see down there we've got the book that we need, everything is good to go, and even some zombies attacking us. But what about if you don't want to start your server this way? What if you want to get a server up and running on your own computer? You don't have to worry about purchasing one, anything like that. Well, that's where the rest of this video comes in. We're going to cover all of that. We're going to download the Better Minecraft server files. We're going to get everything set up locally so that you can join. And then we're going to make it to where your friends can join. But as you can see, the most of this video is what's left, right? The majority of this video is what's left. So the easiest way to start a server is at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown that XYZ slash simple. Once you're there, you get things up and running simply and easily using our mod pack installer, just like we just did, and no port forwarding or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get started if you don't want to do that, though. You want to go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you here. This is the Better Minecraft Fabric BMC1 installation. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Files, and then we want to find the most recent one. That one's the one right here. Don't just click Download, though. Click on it. Then you'll want to scroll down to the very bottom under Additional Files, and you'll find BMC1 Fabric 1.19.2 Server Pack. Then come over here to the right side, click the three dots, and click download. This is the server pack. This will then begin downloading, and once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. So boom, it is now downloading, right like so. You may need to keep or save this file, but most likely you won't. And then once it's finished, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Now what we want to do is move that file to our desktop. So it's going to be found in our downloads folder. And yes, you need to move it to your desktop because managing this in other folders can be done, but is a little more difficult. Once it's here, go ahead and right click on it, click on extract all, and then click extract. And now this is going to extract everything, move it out of this .zip file into a folder, a directory that we can actually manage the server from. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing here. And then once it is finished, we can actually delete the zip file we downloaded because everything is in this folder. So go ahead and delete this. And here we are. We have our better Minecraft fabric folder here. And in here, what we want to do is go ahead and use this start file. Now, you might not have start.ps1, and you might have two start files. 
I understand how that can be confusing. So how do you get the dot at the end? Well, come up here to the top, click on view, and then make sure file name extensions is checked. As you can see, if I uncheck it, I have two start files too. So we want to make sure that we come up here, click view, and click file name extensions to get that dot ps1. You also see the file type is a Windows PowerShell. Right click on this and then click run with PowerShell. You're going to get a warning. That's perfectly okay because, well, this is a random file in a way. It's from Better Minecraft, but Windows doesn't know it. So this is okay. Go ahead and run it. I promise it's safe as long as you downloaded it from the links in the description. You'll then be prompted to agree to the Minecraft ULA. We do, so we can go ahead and type I space agree here and hit enter. It's then going to download everything it needs to get this server up and running. You can see it happening in the background here, and you can see everything starting. Now, once this is finished, you can actually join your server but you're the only person that can join it. The hard part of getting this server up and running is actually letting your friends join the server. So we wanna go ahead and join it ourselves real fast just to prove that everything's working to make sure there's no issues in that regard. Then we're gonna set it up for our friends to be able to join it. So once Windows PowerShell is finished here, I'll show you what it'll look like. And that is this right here. Specifically what you're looking for is the uh, spawn to finish. Once that finishes, the rest of this kind of comes through pretty quickly. And we can go ahead and open up better Minecraft using CurseForge. So if you don't have CurseForge, we do have a guide in the description down below on how to get CurseForge. And by the way, for whatever reason, you couldn't run that file with PowerShell. You may need to download and install Java 17. That's required in order to run Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. So you definitely need it for a better Minecraft server. This is in the description. You may also need to run the jar fix after you get Java 17, but first get Java 17, then run the jar fix, then you'll be able to open Windows PowerShell if you did have issues. But nevertheless, here's our guide on CurseForge. That's also in the description down below and covers everything you need to know to get things up and running for Minecraft with the CurseForge launcher. Once the CurseForge launcher is open and installed, you will need to get better Minecraft 1. You can just search BMC 1, but it's important that you grab the Fabric version here, click on the Install button on it, it will install. Then it'll be on your My Mod Packs tab and you can click Play here to open up the Minecraft launcher. And and then in the Minecraft launcher, you will click play and it will play Minecraft with all the better Minecraft one mods installed. So awesome stuff there. It's actually amazing how easy it is to play modded Minecraft using CurseForge these days. Great job there that that team has done. And uh, now we'll just let Minecraft open and we'll join this server. But again, you can only join it at this time. If you want your friends to be able to join, we're going to need a port forward. We're going to show you how to do it. But it is relatively difficult in comparison to what we've just done and the rest of this video. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and let Minecraft open and we'll see you to join this server and just make sure everything's working. So here we are. Better Minecraft is open and the server has started. Now if we go into multiplayer, we can go ahead and click add server here to add a new server then from there we can name it whatever we want i'm gonna name it local host because we're the only people who can join this ourselves on the local network then we want to name the server address local host as well just local host all one word exactly like that then click done now we have our simplegamehosting.com better Minecraft server, but we also have our local host one here. When we double click on that, we'll see us join in over here on the left hand side. Once we've joined in, boom, we are good to go. The server is now started. We have joined it, but our friends can't join it. We are now in game. Look at that. But what if we want our friends to be able to join? Well, as I mentioned about a million times, you will need to port forward. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to stop Minecraft or disconnect and quit out of Minecraft. Then we want to stop the server. To properly do that, come over here and type stop and enter. That's it. Just stop and then press enter and it will close and then press any key to continue once it's done. Then make sure everything's saved properly, the world and everything like that. Then we can go ahead and close out of this folder here. Obviously, we'll be back. This is our server directory, so everything's in here, but we don't need it right now. What we do need to do is open up command prompt. So let's go ahead and click on the Windows icon and type in CMD. We'll have command prompt here. Go ahead and open that up. And then in command prompt, what we want to do is type IPCONFIG. IP config, exactly like that, and hit enter. That's going to give us some information here. We need to write some of this down. Now, I'm actually going to do that in notepad because that's just easier for you to see what's going on. But you could use a sticky note or anything else that you wanted in order to do this. What do we need here? Well, we need the IPv4 address. Right, so the IPv4 address, which is right here at the top, 192.168.1.3. Then we also need the default gateway. Now, this is going to be towards the bottom here. And as you can see, for me, it's 192.168.1.1. But for you, it may be different. And that's perfectly okay if it's different. That's why we're getting it this way. For you, it, though, it may be numbers and letters. If that's the case, that's not okay. You want the one that's just numbers. It's usually directly under the one that's numbers and letters. So basically, you have a big long string here. And then under that, you'll have just numbers. That's what you want. Nevertheless, once you've got these numbers, we can go ahead and open up our browser to a brand new tab. 
Then in the top up here where you would normally type in simplegamehosting.com, the breakdown of XYZ, youtube.com, something like that, you would come up here and you would type in your default gateway. So in my case, that's 192.168.1.1. And I would hit enter. And so would you, you would hit enter and it would open up some sort of a login box. Now for me, it kind of pops in from the top for you. It may be in the server screen, it might be a pop up. It could be a really nice, beautiful, nicely designed GUI sort of thing like GUI. It's really pretty with a login box. We have some sort of a login box. What do you enter in here? Well, it's actually different from your Wi-Fi password and specifically it's your router password. And in the description below, we have this, an in-depth guide on how to find your router's password. It gives you five different methods. Most people find it by method four. Unfortunately, some people do have to contact their ISP, but most people are good to go by method four. Once you've got your router's information, come back here and log into your router. I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll meet you after I've logged in. All right, so this is what my router looks like after I've logged in, but yours probably looks different. That's okay. I'm going to be giving you some information as to where you might look for port forwarding in your router. But we've also got this in the description, which is how to port forward on a router. And specifically, this guy up here at the top, this video, goes through port forwarding on all the most popular routers that are out there today. Netgear, Asus, I mean, it's all covered in there. So go check that out if you do want to port forward or if you do have issues port forwarding. And even if your specific router is not in this video, watch it because a lot of router software is the same and you'll pick up a lot of terms along the way. Now for me, it's going to be in advanced and then advanced again and then port forwarding slash port triggering. Now for you, it may be in apps and gaming. It could be in port forwarding slash port triggering. It could be in advanced and administration tab or in a security tab. It could be called single port forwarding, single port triggering, port triggering slash port forwarding. It could be outside port forwarding or inside port forwarding. It could be in NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding, NAT gaming, NAT gaming. It could also be called firewall or it could be called gaming firewall, app firewall. And again, it could be called apps and gaming or NAT gaming, NAT gaming. Tons of different names and it might be even something I've not mentioned there, but generally you're just looking around for port forwarding. Now for me, I have to click add a port forward or add a custom service. You may just have a big list of empty boxes. And if that's the case, start with the first one, but I have to add a new port forward. And then once we've clicked to add a new port forward, things can still be different, but you'll have some sort of name or ID. This is what the port forward's for. So this could be a Minecraft server, better Minecraft server. It doesn't matter what it is. You want to enter in the service name. And then for the protocol, you want to do TCP slash UDP, UDP slash TCP, or both. You want to make sure both of these are selected. For anything involving the word port, P-O-R-T, it's going to be 25565. So external port, hey, there's that word port, 25565. Internal port, oh, look at that, 25565. Inside port, outside port, first port, second port, local port, public port, doesn't matter what it's called in your router, it's 25565. Then for the internal IP address, this is going to be the IPv4 address we found earlier, which in my case is 192.168.1.3. That easy. Now you may also have a drop down list of devices instead of an IP address. That's normal as well. And I have it here and here is my local computer. You just want to select the device you're starting the server on if that's the case. Now, 99% of people are done here. Go ahead and click apply, click save, all of that. But some of you will need your public IP for your port forward. And guess what? You also need your public IP if you don't need it for your port forward because that's how your friends are going to join. In the description down below, we have this. This is what's my IP address. And it gives you your public IP back to you. We just take it, give it back to you. And you can see what people can do with this. People can DDoS you. They can hit your internet offline. They can, you know, do so much stuff with this. You're also going to need a pretty decent computer in order to run a better Minecraft server. So if you have any lag or issues like that, that's where Simple Game Hosting can come in as well. But guess what? You don't have to give this information out if you're on Simple Game Hosting. So that is a huge benefit to going there. You find out what someone lives down to their latitude and longitude coordinates with this. So it's super important. You only give this out to people that you trust. But nevertheless, we've now copied that and we can go back to our port forward if we needed it. But most importantly, we can minimize our browser. Now we want to go ahead and launch our server and we want to go ahead and launch Better Minecraft using CurseForge. So again, to launch the server, right click on that start.ps1 and run it with PowerShell. Click open, and then we want to open up a Better Minecraft via CurseForge. I will see you once everything is open. So here we are, Better Minecraft is started on the server side and locally here for us. We can go into multiplayer. We've got the simple game hosting server that we started in under five minutes. We've got local host, which we can double click on to join ourselves, but our friends can't join. And we're going to add another server. This is going to be the public IP. And this is all and what our friends are going to be able to join using. You can only see 43 on the IP address here. That's just to show it's the same one we had earlier. But when we click done, we now have public IP. We can double click to join using this as well. And we join in on the left hand side over there. But keep in mind that 
you might not be able to join via your public IP. Perfectly normal, by the way, if you can't join via your public IP because a lot of internet service providers don't like you connecting back to yourself, which is what you're doing when you're using your public IP to join the server here. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, we have now been able to join. Now, what if your friends though can't join using your public IP? Well, most likely there's an issue with an antivirus or a firewall, probably Windows Defender Firewall. So in the description down below, we have this guide on how to allow Java through your Windows to Defender Firewall, excuse me, for Minecraft servers. It covers everything you need to know about getting your firewall set up to allow a Minecraft server to join and specifically to allow your friends to join your Minecraft server after it's set up. We also have this, which is a complete guide on how to fix a broken Minecraft server. If your server has issues at any point, this is a good video to check out because it goes in-depth covering tons of different potential issues that you may have with your Minecraft server. But at this point, you now know how to make a better Minecraft One server. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out Simple Game Hosting at thebreakdown.xyz slash simple to get your server set up without having to port forward or go through any of those issues or having a good computer yourself. If you can run better Minecraft and play it in single player, you can play it on a Simple Game Hosting server. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.